In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the story problem involving subtracting fractions with whole numbers um, and fractions, so mixed numbers. Um, the story problem reads, Jordan and Marley are working on their endurance for track, so they decide to run laps at recess. On Monday, Jordan ran eight two six laps, and Marley ran six five six laps. How many more laps did Jordan run than Marley? So first, let's outline what we have. So we have two different people here, Jordan and Marley. Jordan ran two six laps eight times. So that's what that eight two six means. It means we have two six written down eight times like this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Does that make sense? We have two six written down eight times, okay? So again, we have Jordan, we have Marley. Jordan ran two six laps eight times. Marley ran five six laps six times, okay? And the question is asking how many more laps did Jordan run than Marley? So what we're gonna be doing there is we're going to be taking our our eight and two six, and we're going to be subtracting it from 6 and 5, 6. And we're going to get our answer that way. Okay? So the first thing we want to do, we want to take those two fractions we have, the 8 and 2, 6, and 6 and 5, 6. And we're going to make them into improper fractions. Right now, we have mixed numbers because we're mixing whole numbers, eight and six, with fractions, two, six, and five, six. So we're mixing whole numbers and fractions. So that means these are called mixed numbers, okay? But I wanna turn them into improper fractions, where the top number is bigger than the bottom number, okay? because then it will be a little bit easier for us to subtract all the way across. So the way that you turn mixed numbers into improper fractions is you start by taking your whole number and you multiply it by your denominator. So you say eight times six, which we know is 48. Six times eight is 48. And then you see so you multiply there and then you add the 48 plus the top number plus the two. 48 plus two is 50. So now we have 50 as our numerator and your denominator never changes. It's six here, so that means it's gonna be six here. So now we're basically rewrote eight and two six into 56, okay? Now same thing on the other side. So you're gonna do six times six which equals 36. And then you're going to add 36 plus 5, which is going to give us 41. So now our new numerator is 41. And our denominator is the same. So whatever it was here, here it's a six, so it's still gonna be a six, okay? So now we can just subtract across here. It's a little bit easier now. We don't have whole numbers to deal with. We still have the same denominator. So now we're gonna go to the next page just to kind of keep it a little cleaner. We're gonna write 56 subtracted from 41, six. 
So now you just, since the bottom numbers are the same, six just carries over over here. And then the top, it's just 50 minus 41, which equals nine. Now we still have an improper fraction here because the top number, the numerator here is bigger than the denominator. The numerator is the top number, the denominator is the bottom number. So it's still an improper fraction. So now the next step will just be to turn that improper fraction, that 9 6, into a mixed number. Okay? And when you have fractions, honestly, all this really means is 9 divided by 6. That's all this line right here really means. Okay? So we're going to do big, um, big 7 or partial quotients and divide. 6 by 9, so it's an easy one here, just 6 times 1. We can't really do much more than that, or it would be 12, which is too much. So then you have 6, so 6, 7, 8, 9, so 3. And then your answer, your quotient, when you do big 7, your, your answer to your division problem is always whatever number you multiply by. So over here, it's 1, right? So our answer is 1. And then the, the bottom number here is going to be your numerator. So 1 and 3, and then your denominator doesn't change. It's still going to be 6. You're still going to keep it 6. So now our answer is 1 and 3, 6. So instead of A, our answer is 1 and 3, 6. So that means Jordan ran... One and three six more laps than Marley. All right, if it doesn't make sense, leave me a note in the comments and I'm happy to make a video just for you.